Let us stand for the reading of the word. Right. <clears throat> now to my voice, I will give you counsel, and God will be with you. Stand before God for the people, so that you may bring the difficulties to God. And you will teach them the statutes and the law, and show them the way in which that they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, you shall select from all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, Having, having, having covetousness and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifty, and rulers of ten. Amen. Amen. Do we have the GTC singers here? Amen. I'm just going to let everybody know that Jesus loves us. Yes. Amen. All of us. Yes. All the time. Especially the ones that are. Especially the ones that are believers. The Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus loves me This I know
can live without you, but I found out. I can't live without Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. The mind dancers.
Amen. Dear Honoree, our recommendation of faithfulness to our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, and for the work of the ministry, your knowledge and understanding of the message of Christ, for your dedication to the body of Christ, you have been nominated for honorary, honorary degrees recognition. Amen. The King's Cross Victory Bible College has received, recognized, and considered all your efforts, great work, and dedication. At this time, by the recommendation of the Secretary of Student Affairs and the Bishop and President, his honorary degree is hereby confirmed. Together with all rights and privileges, obtaining therein this 24th day of August in the year of our Lord 2019 on behalf of the King's College of King's Cross Victory Bible College and staff Alumni Incorporated Northwest Christian Center Congregation yours in Christ Dr. Ray Kinley Amen 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 Marie Jones. After have been elected as an honorary honorary of the College of King's Cross Victory Bible College Alumni Association of Northwest Christian Center, do by solemnly acknowledge that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties and responsibilities of my office, that I will uphold the Constitution by laws of the infallible word of God, that I will abide by the rules, resolutions, and orders of the duly constitution of Northwest Christian Center and Outreach the Living Church of the Ministries and Outreach the Living Church the Living Churches and Ministries Churches and Ministries that I will impose upon myself this voluntary obligation without mental reservation that will not join KCBBC and or NWCC to my purpose to help me by God. And then we have to sign David, the eighth month, the 24th day of 2019. And then I, Dr. Anita Cherry Bowen, after having been elected as an honorary of the College of King's Cross Victory Bible College, Alumni Association of Northwest. Christian Center do by solemnly acknowledge that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties and responsibilities of my office, that I will uphold the Constitution by laws of the inflammable Word of God, that I will abide by the rules, resolutions, and orders of the duty the constituted 
New Life Worship Center. That I will support the vision, programs, and projects of New Life Worship Center. That I will impose upon myself this voluntary obligation without mental reservation that will not join KCBBC or NWCC to my purpose. So help me God. Dated 8-24-2019. I After having been elected as an honorary of the College of King's Cross Victory Bible College Alumni Association of the Northwest Christian Center, do by solemnly acknowledge that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties and responsibilities of my office, that I will uphold the Christian the Constitution and by laws of the inflatable Word of God, that I will abide by the rules, resolutions, and orders of the duty constituted, that I will support the vision, programs, and projects of God True Church, that I will impose upon myself this voluntary obligation without mental reservation that will not join KCBBC and or NWCC to my purpose. So help me God. Dated 8-24-2019. Victory Bible College in this uh, Burgess, Ohio. This is to certify that the actress Marie Jones, whom have completed the necessary life experience skills, having su succeeded all other requirements, is hereby awarded the honorary degree of Bachelor of Church Administration. Amen. life experience skills, having satisfied all other requirements, he has by awarded the honorary degree of Doctor of Divinity. Amen. Amen. This is to certify that Raymond Booker, whom have completed the necessary life experience skills, Having satisfied all other requirements, is hereby awarded the honorary degree of Doctor of Pastoral Care. That's right. Amen. Amen. And now I present to you our honorary. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Now, at this time, we're getting ready. To ordain our honorary designated bishop to ODCM 
Uh, old CD, yeah. Old George CD. You got, oh, you got it back. Mm -hmm. Jurisdiction. At this time, I present to you Apostle McFerrin. Step up, how about that? All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So but you know what y'all? We are here, we've come out, and we are here in all this hot weather. <laughs> and we are church, amen? Amen. And so since we're here, we might as well give God a little bit. All right. You know, they got that credit card talking about taking it with it everywhere you go. Well, how about us do that with the Holy Ghost and Jesus? Yeah. Wherever we go, yes. we got a reason to act up, huh? Because yes. he is good yes. to us. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. God is a good God. Yes. He is so wonderful to us and yes. for yes. us. Yes. And he's doing mighty things, amen? amen. Oh, yes, he is. If you don't see it, keep watching. Come on. Keep looking. Yes. And most of all, keep expecting. Yes. And you're going to see something. Yes. How about that? Come they weren't even expecting. See, you don't have to expect God to do anything. Come you on. just know he's going to do it. Huh? Yes. Expectation is good because expectation allows you to always be hoping. But what I'm saying is you, you can't make God do nothing. You can't make him do nothing. But when you do what you're supposed to do, you that right. will make God do something. Yes. 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 Am I right about it? Yes. Amen, amen. All right, all right. I know, I know we don't want to be here too long. I don't plan on being before you too long because we do have to finish the whole thing. But we're not going to ignore just a little bit of word. Is that all right? All right. We do have to have it. Look, we in God's house. Yes. We're not going to ignore him. Amen? Amen. You're looking at a miracle here. Y'all better know, God is all right with me. All right. Oh, you know, as, the, as it was coming up time where we knew Bishop, Bishop uh, uh, Jones and, and myself and Bishop McFerrin, we have been planning this now for a few months, what we're going to do and how it's going to be done, and, and, and realizing that God is in the movement of it all. And, and oh, about a week and a half ago, I tried to get up, couldn't get up, my hip was acting up, knees was acting up, foot, feet, ankles, everything, trying to stop me from walking, but the devil is a lie. I mean, that's when I knew something was about great was about to happen. So you gotta watch it sometime when the enemy come at you, you got to know that you just a you messenger. Sit down somewhere. You let me know God is getting ready to show me not do something, because you're trying to stop me from getting to it. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right, I will, I will. Y'all woke a sister up. All right. With that good singing, that beautiful mind, yeah. all of this. Look. I'm just in the house. I'm happy to be in the house. How about you? Welcome to the next. Anybody been through anything? Yes, sir. Right there on the other side. Look, I don't care if I ain't on the other side. I'm still moving. So I'm glad about that. How about that? Glory to his name. Now watch this, watch this. I just want to say a few things. We, have, we truly give honor to God, to the Holy Ghost, to Jesus, to, to each of you in your respective places to Bishop McFerrin and to Bishop Jones, to all of you, to our honorees. We just thank God for being here. Yes, Lord. Amen. I thank you so much for thinking enough about us to come and attend this ceremony. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. It's a good thing that we can witness what God is doing. And even though it may not be your turn this time, your turn is coming. So when you get with it, you can get to it. Amen. And so just for a minute, just for a minute, I just want to, to draw your attention uh, to, in, in the book of Samuel, 
uh, of 1 Samuel in the 16th chapter, it talks about when anointment means appointment. Right. Come on now. And that's what we're talking about today. Yes. Anointment yes. meaning appointment. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, and, and it talks about Samuel being sent down to a man called Jesse House. Y'all remember that? Yes. All right. And, and Jesse had all them sons. And, yes. and, and God had told Samuel, go down there because I have chosen someone yes. to do a special task for me. Uh -huh. Y'all were chosen uh -huh. for a special task. My God. And, and go down there and I, I will show you when you get there. Oh, glory to his name. Amen. Amen. And, and so Samuel went down to Jesse's house and asked Jesse, well, I know you got some sons. Bring your sons before me because uh, there's a task that I'm coming to do. I got a task and they got a task. Amen. Uh -huh. yes. And so Jesse, of course, would call his eldest son first. You know, you know how that is. You, you expect that the oldest one's going to be the one that's going to accomplish something. And he calls him and he looks right and he seems like he's acting right. And God said, but he ain't the right one. <laughs> and the play. second one came through and, well, he looks right and he acted right. But God said, that, that's not the right one. All right, all right. And the next one came, and the next one came, and the next one came. Well, that's not the right one. Come and, on. And so, so Samuel said, well, Jesse, wait a minute. Do you have any more children? And he said, well, I got one. Watch this, watch this. Acting like he was insignificant. All right. Well, I got one, but he out there tending the sheep. Yeah, come on. I glory to God. All right. How you gonna look like you ain't the one? You are the one. All right. <laughs> he out there tending the sheep. Samuel said, we're not going to sit down until you bring him here. Yeah. Oh, glory to his name. Amen. And so when, he, when they went to get him, what I like about it is, they still described he was ruddy and he was good to look at and this and that. But then he said, but then I told Samuel, take the horn of oil. All oil right, all man. right, all right. Don't just take, see, when he, when he anointed Saul, the Bible said it was a vial of oil. Uh -huh. But but when it was time to anoint the chosen one, uh -huh. he had a horn of oil. My God. What that means is something had to sacrifice itself. Uh -huh. Something had to be sacrificed in order for that to happen. Uh -huh. The horn of oil he poured on David. All right. Because he was chosen for the task. All right. Yeah. And so, so as I was looking at that, and as I, I liked it because I thought about it, and I thought, you know, it might have seemed like right. he was just a boy tending sheep. Uh -huh. But what I realized is that it wasn't just no sheep tending, but he was out there getting some and learning some experiences with God. Yes. He was learning while he was out there. He was learning how to lean on. He was learning how to hold on. Uh -huh. He was learning how to hang in. Yeah. He was learning how to be obedient. Uh -huh. Come on. He was learning how to trust God. All right. Yes. He was. He learned how to praise and worship God. Uh -huh. He learned that God loved him and he loved God. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and so, so he knew something was happening even though yeah. it looked like. Yes. He was just tending some sheep. Yeah. It was working for his good uh -huh. to be chosen for the task. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, see, see. What I realize is his character and his attitude yes. chose him for the task. All right. Ah, uh, glory to his name. See, some of us think we're supposed to have something. Yeah. Sit down. Because yeah. <laughs> right, right. 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 yeah. if it is yours, you're going to get it. Right. If God has chosen you, you're yeah. going to get it. Yeah. Yes. Don't be trying to make nobody. Don't be trying to make God because God does what he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so, so, so what I'm saying is when you obey, when you do what you need to do, then you set yourself up yeah. I'm looking to be chosen for a specific task. Yeah. Huh? You set yourself up. Come on. Over to his name. Amen? All right. 
And so elevation has to take place. That's what we're looking at today. Elevation has to take place. Amen? You set yourself up. And so when elevation has taken place, which it is, then that really is telling us that you're going to a higher plane. You're going to a higher calling. You're going to a higher position. You have a specific task that's set just for you. My God. Oh, glory to his name, huh? Amen. And you know what? You're the one that's good at it. Yeah. Some of y'all out there, you're the one that's good at the task he set up for you. All right, all right. You're good at what you do. Amen. Huh? How about that? Mm-hmm. This does not mean you better than anybody. All right, all right. All right. Say that. All right. What it means is yes. that you're moving into a different arena with your ministry right. and with your relationship with God. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Oh, go over to his name. Amen. And some more stuff is going to be required of you. Yes. Too much is given, much is required. Right. So there's some more things that will be required of you. Yeah. Oh, glory to his name. Huh? Ephesians, Ephesians 4, it, it tells us about the fivefold ministry. Y'all remember that? Amen. And this is why it's important for you to stick with your task. Watch verse 12. It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's why you set out. That's why you got your specific task. For the edifying, for the perfect of the saints. So that means everybody ain't always got to be, you know, we always think, you know, once you come to church, everybody got to be all this and all that and all this and all of that. You get there eventually. <laughs> you got to work at it like everything else. How about that? And you need some help when you're working with it. That's why he sets some with a special task to help you do what you got to do. Is that am I right about that? You have to agree with me. I know it's right. Amen. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, so the good thing is because of who you are and where you're going, it's still all good because we realize in that greater is He that's in you than He that's in you. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh, mm -hmm. So, so as you move forward and as you continue to reflect on the Word of God, follow through with this Word. What I'm saying, reflect on it uh -huh. and follow through with it. Uh -huh. See it uh -huh. and do it. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. How about that? All right. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. See it uh -huh. and do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're here to do our part in your elevation, recognizing your accomplishments and your duties. You're in the next phase, so as you move forward, remember what the Word tells us. There's two scriptures I just want to remind you of. The first one is first Peter, Second Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore the, 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 the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Uh-huh. What am I saying? Be sure what you say and what you do. Show you're ready and willing to go all the way with your text. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to his name. Then, then St. John 15, chapter, verse number 60 say, Ye are, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you All right. and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. You're on a mission. Oh, glory to his name. And because you, you, you're producing good fruit, then your mission will be accomplished. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to his name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you've been picked out. Oh, glory to his name. Because you've been picked out, that meant you got up. You're standing up. You're staying up. And you're building up. Well, uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To our designate, Bishop Clarence H. Jones. 
I want to say this. It was necessary for the shift. All right. Good God. Thank God that we're moving and going with the flow of God. Say, well. say, say, we have to understand the shift. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Let me tell y'all something. A shift means something is moving. Well. A flow means something is moving. Uh -huh. yes. When you deal with a shift, that does not mean that it completely changes everything. That means there's a difference. Uh -huh. right. Something has happened. Uh -huh. Just like when you shift a car, you have to get to the next gear to go a little bit further. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what this shift is taking you somewhere. All right. Amen. Oh, glory to his name. With the flow, you going somewhere. Even though you might hit a few rapids some of the time. Sometimes you might hit a few rocks sometimes. Sometimes it might not look like it's easy to go through. But when you go with the flow, when you continue to move with the flow, then it's going to take you where you got to go as long as you stick with the flow. Huh? Because of your shift, you moving with the flood. Amen. 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 And so we thank God. So what I want to say to all of you is, do what you do. Amen. And do it good. Amen. 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 We already acknowledge and recognize you got it. So do what you do. And do it good. Amen. 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 Is that all right? Yeah. All right. I'm preaching y'all next time. <laughs> I want you to know the churches and ministries and our officials involved. Now, I want y'all to understand that my vision, look, I was blind, and God has been covered some of my sight. Somebody say amen. 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 So I'm glad I can see anything. Praise you know, the Lord. So if I hesitate, it's not because I can't read, it's because I have to focus again. So amen. 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 All right, all right. Uh, I want you to know the churches and ministries and our officials involved have expressed confidence in you, your character, your devotion to Christ and the church, and in the ability to direct the affairs and promote the general interest of the entire church. And so I submit to thee, as written in 2 Timothy, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers with itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of the evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. With that, you've been selected and honored for this office and assigned the following charge. Amen? Amen. Amen. To uphold, obey, and defend the word of God. To function as the administrative head of Northwest Christian Center and with Outreach Universal Churches and Ministries. To seek out and discover suitable leaders of the congregation under your care. To encourage ministerial improvements through events and training. To inspire spiritual growth in others to be effective for Christ and his kingdom. To be a faithful participant in service to reach as you preach and teach. To be faithful in supporting your ministry and OVCM financially as well as spiritually. <clears throat> to respect and operate within the five-fold ministry in your ministry. To encourage ministerial teams to visit homes, hospitals, and penal institutions in the manner of missionary outreach. 
to stimulate and encourage all in living holy and be dedicated to the Lord. Uh, endeavoring to making the vision plain to the people by making your life a living example and by preaching and teaching the truth. To submit yourself to the will of God with prayer and humility, teaching those under you to do the same. These responsibilities have been charged to you. Designate Bishop Clarence H. Jones, Jr. Amen? Amen. 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 The inquiry. Inasmuch as the Holy Scriptures notes that no man be placed hastily in supervision of God's church. And in order that these here may know your purpose concerning this sacred office, will you in the fear of God answer the questions I ask you in the name of Christ and his church? Yes. Bishop Jones, Will you endeavor to live soberly, righteously, and godly as a bishop, in so that you may be an example to all others in Christian living? Yes, I will. Bishop Jones, will you entrust, will you instruct those who come under your charge in the word of God to the edification of the whole church, as well as to the standards of Northwest Christian Center and ODCM, and its constitution. Yes, I will. Bishop Jones, will you give diligence to faithfully perform all the duties assigned to you as directed, holding the trust of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, and God, and the charter of Northwest Christian Center and ODCM? Yes, I will. Bishop Jones, will you ever seek in true humility to deal justly and kindly with your brethren in the ministry and with all others. Yes, I will. Bishop, turn around to the congregation. Thank you, Bishop. Congregation, this is your answer. I, I need to hear your answer. Saints of God, do you under God, do you under God accept this candidate in the office of bishop? and give him your support and prayers as he seeks to carry out his responsibilities to Northwest Christian Center and ODCM. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, no. Yes. All right, all right. Thank you, Eternal God, you are worthy of our thankful praise and your love for us. You call your church to be a holy people. Through your Holy Ghost, you've given us this fivefold ministry. Some apostles, some pastors, evangelists, some pastors, some teachers, that they would Worship your people for the work of the ministry and the building up of the body of Christ. We acknowledge the fact and thank you that Bishop Jones, whom will be ordained and is being ordained today, is equipped with your grace, your power, and will continue to proclaim your word. We believe he will honor you in worship. We believe he will celebrate you in praise. We believe he will lead the church in faith. We believe he will be examples to your people with love, patience, and holy living. We pray you continue your power to pour into him. For through this ministry, your name will be glorified to draw people to you. And the people will be strengthened. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The the vesture. We have to clothe him for his office. Amen. Amen. The 
cast it. Turn towards us. That's the The casting of the robe. Yes. Please take that out. Would someone please come and take this for him? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sire. Amen. The casting or the robe. We put this on because it represents the garment of servanthood. Tell you what it stands for. It actually stands for the law of God. And so that's another reason why it's a good thing you didn't purpose. We follow his law, we follow his word, his statutes. Amen? Yes. All right. The censure. The censure represents the garment of humility. We have to understand that we must be humble before God. In order for him to use us the way he wants to, you can't be all in you. The cross represents the emblem of the office you are about to partake. As you perform and as you go out, as you do, when you are dressed and you're wearing your clergy shirt, the cross goes over your left and goes in your left pocket, over your heart. Amen? Amen. When you're performing a ceremony, it's just like that. So the people recognize your office. Amen? Amen. 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 The ring. <coughs> the ring represents the unbroken circle of eternity which, in, which endures between you and your relationship with God. Amen? The horn with the oil. Are you going to do that now? Yes. Samuel was instructed, as I said, to anoint the chosen one that God had chosen with the horn of oil. We shall do the same. He shall be anointed with the horn of oil. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory, Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. <laughs> Jesus the mighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. His mantle first and then our mantle. The mantle. Wait a minute. Pick it up. Yes. As we lay our hands on this mantle, and place it on you. It represents a sign of empowerment sending you forth. This is a visible sign representing the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. 
just like Elijah wanted a, a, a Elisha wanted Elijah's power. He said, I want what you got, remember? Yes. And he said, if you there when I go up, I'll drop it on you. Your mantle. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. As we have, you have done the charge, as you have answered the inquiry, and as you are now dressed for your office, we present to you. We present to you the ordination as Bishop Clarence H. Jones of Outreach Deliver of Northwest Christian Center and of Outreach Deliverance Churches and Ministries. You are now the regional South Central Bishop of, out of OGCM. That means you cover the Central South area, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Bishop. You are also first in line after the National Bishop, Bishop McFerrin. We give that to you with honor. So now I present to you. You can turn it on. Bishop and Dr. Clarence H. Jones Jr. Amen. 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 Now, now, this is such a prestigious occasion. A prestigious occasion. And we not only appreciate him for all that he is doing and for his goals that he has accomplished on today. So any presentations, and, and one presentation that I wish all of us would do was that we're going to do a special offering for him. And I would really appreciate it if y'all would, would bless him along with me. I'm not asking you to do anything I'm going to do. With a $20 special offering. And if we have any other pre special presentations, please bring them now. What you do. All right. Amen. You really don't know when God might bless you. Am I right about Amen. it? Amen. You, are you looking for some? Amen. Well, you got to do something to get some. Amen. 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 You, 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 you want God to do something, but you really don't know exactly when that thing might happen. My God. This might be the catapult to make God go ahead and release it, huh? All right. So let's bless the man of God on today. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. 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 No, I want to put it in his hand. I want y'all to bring it and put it in his hands. Amen. 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 That he may be a blessing unto you. I decree, you're going to be blessed when you do this. Amen. I decree it to be so. I can do that. Amen. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about with the power of authority that God has given me. I can do it. I decree whoever will bless this man Amen. will be blessed. Amen. 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 You can come. I know. I know you hear it all the time. It's okay. It's all right. But when you recognize good soil, then you know something's gonna happen, amen? You know, do you really, really see what's on the back of your money? What does it say? In God we trust. So do you trust God enough to know that he's gonna bless you? He's gonna bless you in my hand. No, no. Amen, amen. amen. If you have to write a check, make it to Clarence Jones. Not the church, him. This is amen. him. Amen. amen. We blessing him today, amen? amen. Amen. Thank y'all so much for being obedient. Now I place you in the hands of our bishop, Bishop Clarence Jones. 
Amen. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and allowing God to use you, bless me. Amen. Not financially, but the love. Amen. Your presence to me is just an act of love, and I thank God for that. Amen. And I will try to do exactly as the Word of God has taught me in this position. This has been something that's been in my heart for a few years that the apostle and the bishop were down in Texas a few years ago, about five years ago, and they told me about this. I looked at it and I thought about it, and then I read in the Bible, it says, desire the office yeah. of the bishop. Doesn't mean that I'm going to be bigger or yeah. do something different. It means that I would stay focused yes. in the work of God, helping churches, yes. helping people in general become closer to Christ, Amen. develop relationship. Amen. My life belongs to God. And I belong to God's people. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. Ooh, I want to thank all the clergy who come out today and participated, those who wasn't able to make it, contacted me. But God already, he already ordained this day and this time. And I thank him for the spirit that's here. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Spirit. I want to say this. If you look at the program, you'll find the theme of it is workers in the vineyard. Someone nominated me. I was pursuing my doctorate since 2001. And I got cancer. Stopped. But I kept on after the Lord healed me. I kept on. I said, well, Lord, I'm going to try to get it again when I get my health back. But the class changed and the books got bigger. Time went on. Someone called me up says, hey, Pastor Jones, I got something I think you might be interested in. I want to bring you up as a doctor. Have you gotten your doctor? Yes, I said, not yet. I'm thinking about it. I need to get back into it. He said, man, listen, you're already doing the work. You're already out there. And I want to know if it's all right if I send your name in to this college, see if they will accept you. All you need to do is let me know what you want. And I got all of my credentials together and I gave them to him. About three months later, I got a call from a student of Paris. They accepted me. All right. They accepted me. I told them about the church. They accepted the church. We became alumni of this college in Ohio. And as I was thinking about not just me working in the vineyard, I know some other people who's out there laboring in the Lord, just like myself. And I say, Lord, let me do this to them. All right. They deserve it. And I nominated these people. It took about three months. But after I wrote a letter and told them their work in the ministry and how long and what they had been doing in the ministry, they looked it up. They accept yeah. My wife has been taking care of the church's finances since it's been founded. All right. 
It's not easy to do. We have to see the tax man at the end of every year. If they're not right, we got to give up some money. She's been keeping those books on point. When I rode Ohio and told them about what my wife has been doing for this church since he's founded, they say, well, Pastor, we have something I think you may be able to help her with. Four years ago, my wife got ordained as an evangelist in the ministry. Going in and out of prisons, allowing God to use her. She don't just go and sit. She go in and have a word. God wants us to be doers of the word of God. And when God blessed her to become degree in church finances, I want to present her with something today that will say she is deserving of this ministry. And I want to ask her to come up. She don't know about this. Nobody else don't know about this. Her with a clergy ring. Of the cross. Of the cross. Amen. Thank you, John. We want to present you with this clergy ring for your efforts and your work in this ministry. Also, I want a good dear friend of mine to come up. I really love it. Hey. Right. And I know you love me. I knew that the day I met him. Tell the book up. Will you come? Pastor's cross ring made for a pastor. Amen. And I want to present it to this pastor. It gave him a pastoral care doctrine today. He cares Amen. for the flock. Yes, yes. yes. All right. Some of us just don't know what the pastors go through. Yes. For the sheep. All right. Pastor, but we present this to you today. Make it right, Frank. We're proud. Yeah, the right. And that is right. The right ring, Frank. It's all right. Amen. We're giving me signs. With that said, I want Pastor Booker to uh, close us out and bless the meal. Amen. 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 I'm happy to let you hear your story when you had counsel. It just upset me when you talk so sad. I love him so much. My true church love him. He's been right that way. My air condition broke, he run and fix it. All right. My dog's air condition broke, he run and fix it. Anything I have to do, do, he's good. He's good. Man. And it's not about a, it's about Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus is everything. Yes. He's my life. Yes, Lord. I love the Lord. Yes, Lord not because he loved me, because he loves us all. Yes. I don't want to say nothing else because we've been here quite a while. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this privilege today to be here. Let us stand. Father, we need you now. Yes. A time like these. Yes, Lord. So much, Lord, is going on.